Hello and welcome to this session. My name is Sandeep Pote and today I'm going to show how to set up Sitecore JSS to work in disconnected mode. Sitecore JSS SDK comes with a popular front-end framework and one of them is Next.js. In this session, I'm going to show how to create a JSS app based on Next.js. Sitecore JSS comes with the code first development workflow that is to develop in a disconnected mode. The code first workflow is recommended when you are in the early prototyping phase of design where a Sitecore instance might not be available yet. Or the primary developers on the team are JavaScript developers. Or the front end developers do not have their own Sitecore instance or they are waiting for Sitecore licenses. Sitecore JSS SDK comes with a JSS CLI which is a node based command line tool to help you create and maintain the applications. So let's get in action to create our first JSS app. So we'll create a JSS app on the Windows 10 machine. But before we could do that, uh, we have to install Node.js. So go to the Node.js.org and download and install the latest version of Node.js. You might also need a Visual Studio code and you will need PowerShell 5.1 or later. So in this machine, I have already installed Node.js. So I'll quickly check which version I have. It's 16.13 and NPM. It's 8.1. So NPM is required to install the uh, Sitecore JSS CLI. So let the first step is to install CLI. So use this command to install CLI Sitecore JSS CLI. So this should install the CLI which is required for uh, which will give us a command to create and manage uh, the application. So we now have a CLI installed. Uh, so the next step will be to uh, create a JSS app based on Next.js template. So let's create a JSS app, which is the command for it is JSS create. Uh, the project name I'm giving next JSS PRJ and the template that's Next.js. So it can be a React.js also or an Angular. Yeah, in this case, we are giving a Next.js. So we are creating a Next.js project. Um, before I could do that, I'll switch to a different folder. Yeah, and type in the same command again, Next.js PRJ and the template is Next.js. So we now have a next JSS app created in the development folder. So I'll go to that folder and let's see. So this will have all the supporting files a front ender can work on without uh, connecting to the Sitecore instance, which will allow them to create a mock Sitecore data so that they can test the um, website. So the next step will be to uh, start the site. So we have to use this, we have to move to the project folder and use this JS start command to start the site. So this site will be um, hosted on the port 3000. Once it's compiled and ready to start. So yeah, so the it's ready and started and it's listening to 3000 port. So I'll go to localhost 3000 and see if it loads the default site. So it's compiling. 
yeah and the compilation was successful and here we have um, the default home page uh, comes with um, uh, the site core next.js template so as we saw that um, we didn't connect to the site core uh, instance and the front ender is, should be able to work on uh, new pages and the components uh, and mock the site core data to display that on the site I think that's it for this session. Uh, we saw how we created a new JSS app based on the Next.js template. And the front-end developers are able to work on the pages and the component uh, without even connecting to Sitecore instance that is in the disconnected mode. Uh, in the next video, I'll show how to get uh, the JSS app uh, work in the connected mode uh, that is uh, required if we want to get the content from the Sitecore. Thank you for watching this video and see you in the next.